Stanley Hooker. Leading up to World War II, the German Heinkel HE-70 aircraft was superior to the Spitfire in every way. The HE-70 led the world in aircraft design and set eight world speed records in the 1930s. With war looming, it was imperative that the Spitfire kept up with the Heinkel. Stanley Hooker was born at 12 West Street, Blue Town, Sheness, and educated at Borden Grammar School in Sittingbourne. He won a scholarship to Imperial College London and studied mathematics and aerodynamics at Oxford. In January 1938, he started work with Rolls-Royce. Stanley's first task was to develop an engine to compete with the German aircraft. He set to work on the Merlin engine supercharger. Merlin engines were used in Hurricanes, Spitfires, Lancasters and Mosquitoes. Stanley Hooker developed a supercharger for the Merlin engine, which dramatically improved the speed and the rate of climb of the Spitfire, giving it an extra 70 miles per hour on the speed and 10,000 feet on its fighting altitude. This allowed the RAF to keep ahead of the German Luftwaffe. The importance of Stanley's improvements to the Merlin engine in terms of success in the Battle of Britain cannot be understated as he gave Fighter Command's pilots the ability to successfully fight the German ME-109s and ME-110s. Without Stanley Hooker, we would not have won the Battle of Britain. If we had not won the Battle of Britain, in all likelihood, we would not have won the war. Stanley Hooker went on to help Frank Whittle, who was developing the jet engine. Stanley Hooker developed the Olympus jet engine, which was used in the Vulcan bomber. He played an important part in the development of the Pegasus engine, which was used in the Hawker Harrier junk jet. Stanley Hooker retired, but when Rolls-Royce went bankrupt developing the RB211 engine, Stanley was brought out of retirement to rescue the company. He received a knighthood in 1974. Stanley Hooker, the man who won the Battle of Britain.